Welcome to Arts Beyond Museum. I'm Khan, I'm your curator for this series. Today, Arts Beyond Museums brings us to the Kyeongsang area. Now, this Kyeongsang area in 2017, it was voted as the top 10 places that you have to see when you are in Asia. And this place, even though it's not very long, it's actually full of wonderful restaurants, wonderful bars. It's just like all the jams and all the wonderful places, they're all concentrated here. In short, it is actually a concentration of celebration. And celebration is exactly what Master Yun Nongzi's Feng Shui paintings is about. Today, Arts Beyond Museum set up our paintings at this amazing place, the Guild. You heard it correctly, Guild. G U I L D. I was asking the director, like, what does it mean, the Guild? It's actually a place that he wanted for professionals. Like, you know, you have the association for lawyers, for, for you know, professionals. The Guild is also a place that he wants that professional of all kinds. They don't just have to go to a wine bar, they can come to this place, the Guild. And it's along 55 Pyeongsiap Road. Now, it's such a prominent place. It's right at the juncture of Tek Lim and then uh, Pyeongsiap Road. You simply cannot miss it. It stands at a very generous space and it's really a place that you can come here to celebrate. Now, before we go any further, uh, let's talk about this. If you are first time with us, you might be wondering, who is this Master Yun that we keep on talking about? Who is this painter? Now, Master Yun, he is the sixth generation Feng Shui master in his family. And since young, he has been painting. In 2019, China's CCTV came to feature Master Yun as the epitome of Feng Shui and Feng Shui arts. Up to date, Master Yun has had 14 major art exhibitions around the whole world. One of the most significant ones is that he went up, he and his paintings went up to the Great War of China. Master Yun and his arts are the only ones that have been to the Great War of China over the past 3,500 years. This is one of Master Yun's paintings. Now this series has the same name. It's called He Tian Fu Di Tu, Greetings to Heaven and Enrichment of Earth. So if you come to Kyeongsiak Road for celebration and you come to the Guild for celebration, and if you want to bring this celebration back home, this is a great series to actually bring it back because this series is super worthy of celebrating. This is the exact series that went up to the Great War of China. What's the better thing to celebrate about, am I right? So look at it, just by looking at it, even without recognizing what is drawn, what is the meaning of it, you can feel that it's full of elements of celebration. This is real gold, by the way, 24K real gold. The amount of gold that's been used on these cranes and the peony flowers and the silver as well, that in itself is a celebration of life and things that are worthy to celebrate about. We have with us the director of the guild, Mr. Michael Tai. Thank you very much for having Master Yun's painting for our Art Beyond Museum. Now, Michael, um, the guild. What is the guild famous for? Um, the guild is famous for, for the cup beer. Uh -huh. So our main company from Hong Kong is called Young Master. Right. So we are the larger brewery in Hong Kong. Right, right, yeah. right, right. In Chinese, what do they call it? Craft beer? So gong pi jiu. So gong pi jiu. That means that it's something that it's, it takes a lot of effort yes. to actually craft it. Yep. It's and really take a lot of effort to make one beer. Take know? a lot of effort to make one beer. Yeah. So it's, this, is, this is something I know, knew about beer. It's not something that's very simple. It's actually a very complex and sophisticated process to it. And actually behind us, these are all the, what we call taps, is it? Yep. So each one actually has... Different type of beer. Each one has different type of beer. Yes. And how many taps you have we here? we got the 20 taps over here. 20 taps? Yes. In front of us one, we had a classic pale ale. This is a classic pale, pale ale. ale. So which is a young master, the first, first beer they make. How does it taste like? Oh, we should try it now. Okay, you know? yeah, we should try it. Yeah, can I? Yeah. <laughs> the color is amazing. Mm. Looks really golden. Just, we just take yeah, it in, just right? Just take it in, of course. You know. So and you get a lot of beer. passion fruit, you know. Oh, yeah. The taste, and the light tea also. Yes, the taste is, uh, well, it's very really layered. Yeah. It's not one singular taste. Once you have this, when it goes through the tongue, it gives you a different kind of sensation. Yeah. As Michael was saying, there's okay. a lychee. Gee, passion fruit. Passion fruit. And I'm going to take one more sip <laughs> on this, yeah. <laughs> Any other special ones that you would like yeah, to no. show? For sure, you know, for this kind of season, we had a very good, what oh we my call, God. 
Is this beer? <laughs> yes, it's beer. Hey, give me a healthy drink. <laughs> Actually, it's this a is beer. beer, of course. It's a pandan milkshake, you know. It's a green beer. Yeah. yeah. Mm. Have you seen a green beer before? Yeah. A pandan milkshake. milkshake. IPA, Indian period. This is really something special. I've never seen this before. So if you're looking for something special beer, mm. this is the place to be. This is the place to celebrate with all the special beer. Yeah. How does it taste like? Oh, we should have the one more we sip. We should have, have one, one more sip. sip. Yeah. I think probably before this episode is end, I'll mm. be on the street of Kyung Siad already. My God. Mm. We call it the nose, right? As yeah. in the scent. I think because of how the glass is shaped as well, you see the, the scent is different. Its scent is really different. Yeah. If you're a person who hates beer, you should try this. If you're a person who loves beer, the more you should try this. Are all of them always on the menu? Yes. All of them. Uh, on this one, this it's a seasonal. It's limited. Seasonal? Yes, it's a limited edition. This so, is a limited edition. edition. Yeah. Just mm -hmm. like Mastuin's painting. Mm -hmm. But what do you mean seasonal? How come there's a seasonal thing for beer? Mm, it's like, go by the market trend, you know. It's like Sorry, now, no yeah. problem. <laughs> it's like, when people, they, they start to talk, I like pandan, you know. So, the my Hong Kong brew master will start to think about how to use the pandan to make the beer. Okay, yeah, okay. So to cater to, to the, the market, taste of yeah, the clients, the piece, of, of the patrons. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So, seasonal as in that it won't come back again, or how mm. does it work? Finger crossed. If the brewmaster happy with the beer, then might be coming back. It or might not. be a recurring thing. Yes. If yeah. not, it's only there for a for while, while and it will be forever. <laughs> and once it's finished, it won't come back again. Yes. You have seen Master Yun's heavenly feng shui paintings, but have you seen his feng shui calligraphies? Master Yun has been recognized as the founding father of feng shui arts, feng shui painting, and feng shui calligraphy. The first time when Feng Shui calligraphies were ever exhibited was on the Great War of China. Speak with us to find out your choices for selectable Feng Shui calligraphies today. We have you see, it's oak, oak, oh, no fancy problem. colors as what we see on the beer here. A bit very much like Mastuin's paintings. <laughs> I know I'm double talking about Long Bear Champagne, but this is really something. We have the pale ale, we have the green one, and this is the stout. This is not copy all right. This no, is no, not no, copy no. all right. Because no, no. it looks really black. My god, this is stout. Huh? I don't yeah. think I've tried stout in my life. No, really. Uh, but this one is a bit different because it's, as I say it's a craft beer. So it's we a put a lot beer. of like the different flavor inside, you know. This one is a coconut peanut. <laughs> yeah. Cheers. I'm not a beer person, but this is really good. Yeah. So this when you notice it, the coconut is like coconut. Coconut. Yes. Coconut and what? Peanut. Peanut. Mmm. You see, even when we, as I was saying, the Kyung Siang Road is a place that really is a concentration mm -hmm. of celebration. Yeah. You want good restaurants, you have it here. You want good bars, you have it here. Mm -hmm. and some of them are actually the top restaurants in the world, that kind of thing, you know. And if you want good beer, and really craftsman beer, really high-end beer, and different taste beer, you have it here as well at the Guild. Yep. This is really worthy of your celebration, and you can celebrate every single season. Exactly. You, know, you want to wear like this, like tuxedo or the casual, okay. no problem. Yeah, you can wear tuxedo <laughs> if you want to come here, that's fine. If you wear tuxedo, they know that you watch this show. <laughs> Therefore, you wear tuxedo to come here, if not, you can. After work, but, yeah. uh, like the professionals, that's mm. what the guild means. means they will yeah. come over here. You can be a doctor, you can be anyone. You can come here yeah. and celebrate with good craftsmen yeah. here. Good. Thank, Thank you. you. Enjoy. Yeah. Yeah. So, can people tap out? Yes. Because it's so good, can we tap out? Of course. We, we have can. a canning oh. machine. We can can. So, we do the 330 and final ML for takeaway. We will need you to show us the canning process then. I will show you later. Alright. Mm -hmm. Thank you very much. Oh, come, cheers. Cheers. Oh. Cheers. Okay, we'll cheers with the stop. Yeah. Of course, you should celebrate with so many fanciful and colourful beer we have here in the Guild. But since here we are at the, this such a concentration of celebration along Kyung Siang Road, why not celebrate with something also? Why not celebrate with Long Paris Champagne? Long Paris for 200 over years, they were established in 1812. They have not worked with any other artists before. And the only artist they have worked with so far is not French, it's Master Yun himself. Celebration with Long Paris Champagne. Over here, this is Long Paris uh, Champagne. 
Uh, it's Mele Simi, it's a vintage from 2008. It's amazing taste, the nose is great, and the color, look at the bubbles, is amazing. Of course, we don't have so many colors as like what the beer had, but let's take a look at Masterin's painting. Somehow, the painting that we chose today, this same series painting, Greetings to Heaven and Enrichment of Earth, He Tian Fu Di Tu, this is number 32. If you look at the colors, it feels a bit like the different colors of uh, beer we have just now. We have the yellow, we even have the green fits into the environment perfectly. So if you do bring this series back home, you can enjoy it with the Guilds beer, but also Lohong Paris Champagne, Mele Simi. Now, something special about this piece is that we know that in each of Mastering's painting, the main motifs, the symbols, cranes or peacocks, and the flowers, which is peony. And here, somehow, okay, the peonies, they're in, up in the sky. We know that it should be the other way around. If you portray a painting and the composition, the peonies, they should be around here, which happens to other paintings. But for this, all of them, they have overtaken the sky. And just my take, I don't think there are peonies that represent prosperity. Just that, no. They are like fireworks. And what's better way to celebrate than with fireworks? Cheers. We celebrate in the day, we celebrate in the night as well. Right behind me, this is Kyongsiak Road, the Kyongsiak area at night, and this is the guild at night. So if you come by the night time and you want to have a great beer and some wonderful food, fusion food, now you know how it looks like at night. So, Master Mist Painting, same series, He Tian Fu Di Tu, Greetings to Heaven and Enrichment of Earth. This is number 26, same, it's at 88,868. These two cranes, I like, something special about them, both of them. Look at them, the beaks are open, as if they are singing. Karaoke, perhaps a duet. Happy, just like a celebration, how it should be. And we know along with this entire street, the night vision, the UV effect of this painting will be definitely very, very awesome. Just look at the amount of acrylic paint that is being used here. I think it will glow up to be quite the fanfare of fireworks. Cheers to celebrationism. The Arts Beyond Museums series and Master Yun Longzi's Feng Shui Art are proud to be sponsored by Lohong Perrier. For 200 over years, Lohong Perrier has not worked with any other artist before. When you purchase a piece of Feng Shui Art exhibited in this Art Beyond Museums series, you will also be getting a complimentary set of five different specially selected cuvées of Lohong Perrier Champagne. De La Cove, De Cove Rosé, Brut Melesimi, Demisec Harmony, and De Cove Grand Siac. So that you can enjoy the taste of elegance while basking in the prosperity of Masterin's feng shui paintings and calligraphies. Cheers to prosperity and elegance.